What's going on guys? <clears throat> so I'm here at Space Cadet Gaming here in uh, the Woodlands off of Robinson Road. We're having a uh, build night here, the gun blend stuff. Everybody else is over there doing that. But one of the other reasons I came here was to compare my Flame Toys Thundercracker to a standard version. So uh, one of the managers here built the standard one. So I'm gonna do a quick side-by-side -side so you guys can see the difference between out of the box and a bit of paint. So this will be the out of the box version. And you can see it comes in this dull gray, you know, the clear plastic cockpit. Got the chromey stickers here. Catch the light like that. And the big metallic stickers on the wings. Now the knees are totally the wrong color. And you can see there how the blue, or the brilliant blue is virtually identical to the blue on the bare plastic. So, and by no means am I trying to make fun of the guy, I'm just literally showing off the difference here. So, even giving the little detail paint back in here on the chest vents, and then the way the knees come in solid gray, but they're supposed to look like that. That's a big, big difference. And they need to work on their uh, color separation but also just showing off how similar the base gray is to the uh, <clears throat> the uh, gunship gray I used there so this was gunship and this is regular and then of course in here I used uh, German gray on the joints and then once again he comes with a black head and I painted his head black so different from Starscream but you can just see a lot of the differences. Now it is okay that they have the clear bits there. It doesn't look terrible. I just enjoy the painting there. Now if I could get a copper color for that, I would. But and you can see how the stripes work out, and then why right there, why I don't like using the stickers for the emblems because they don't even fit over that. So, difference between paint and that. The one thing I'll do in the future is actually paint some white under the purple to make that pop. And then, one thing, he had some construction issues. He actually had the wrong polycap between the wrist and the torso. So, this wasn't fitting right, and that definitely wasn't fitting right. Once I figured that out, I fixed it for him, and then also uh, corrected a couple small issues that were there. But you can see like down here, if you follow the instructions, the way you're supposed to insert these, you'll actually end up peeling those stripey stickers off because the leg clearance for that is so tight. So uh, in the future, I suggest before you insert the wing, split that apart just a little for clearance sake, and then it'll go in cleanly. And that's actually the same thing I did on mine because I painted it to insert it. So same problem, but you know, just a real quick comparison there of uh, what it will look like out of the box versus just some paint. And obviously they look the same, but just the, the blue, you may not have to paint the whole thing, but these knees, you'll definitely have to paint it. Now you could just mask off just the kneecap and then paint everything else blue and you'll be, you'll be pretty good there. So, I mean, if you only want to go that far, by all means. But I think that just painting these vents inside here with some gun metal or some black, makes a big difference. And then also just be careful with how you do that joint in the chest. But there we go. There's our differences.